Let's move now to what are certainly the hot topics of our immediate moment, which is executive privileges and immunities and uh, impeachment. Uh, so uh, executive privileges and immunities. We have seen in the news uh, cases that are working their way through the courts about uh, President Trump's financial records and tax records, uh, as well as other issues that um, some are in the courts and, and some, at this point, the Democratic Democrats have decided not to bring to the courts about the um, executive branch turning over documents in relation to the current impeachment inquiry. All of these disputes go back to the rules announced in U.S. v. Nixon. And Nixon, of course, um, was uh, impeachment charges were filed against Nixon and he resigned, he resigned before that uh, process went forward. And the issue in U.S. v. Nixon has to do with the Watergate tapes. So these are tape recordings that the Nixon administration was making in the Oval Office. Uh, and these tape recordings captured uh, conversations that President Nixon had had with some of his high-level aides, including a tape that became known to be the smoking gun tape about um, the Nixon administration knowing about the break-ins in the Watergate Hotel to gather information um, on the uh, Democratic presidential campaign and the effort to cover up and impede the investigation of those break-ins. So I'm going to play you a the clip of the tape that is considered the smoking gun tape, which really, once it came out, um, eroded even Republican support for President Nixon, leading to his resignation. And you'll hear on the tape him discussing, um, you know, what uh, really obstructing the FBI investigation into the break-in. Nixon Presidential Library and Museum presents a selection from the White House tape. The Nixon Presidential Library and Museum presents a selection from the White House tapes, Conversation 741-2, which took place on June 23, 1972. Now, on the Some more through some Texas people in the one 
For more information, please visit www.nixonlibrary.gov. So the Nixon administration initially claimed executive privilege in not having to hand over these tapes. So what is executive privilege? Well, in, in evidence class and civil procedure and professional responsibility, you'll talk about attorney-client privilege. That's a privilege encoded in the, the law of attorney and client, and we recognize um, you know, for us as attorneys, this is sort of one of our sacred obligations, so to speak, and we recognize that clients wouldn't speak candidly to their attorneys uh, if the client knew that the attorney would have to disclose all that information. Um, so we, for very good reasons, say communications between an attorney and client about the subject of the representation are privileged and do not have to be disclosed unless the client um, wants to waive the privilege and have them disclosed or in other sort of very limited circumstances involving, you know, an immediate threat to life or something like that. Um, and we have other privileges, doctor, patient, priest, penitent, those sorts of things, all of which have been recognized in one form or another in the law. The Nixon administration argued that there should be an executive privilege. The executive branch has to discuss really sensitive things, matters of national security, uh, matters of policy, the, there are often disagreements between different um, administrators within the executive branch or different advisors to the president. Um, we need those disagreements to be freely expressed without every time someone is speaking, them thinking that everything is going to be readily disclosed to the public. So there are potentially some good grounds for recognizing some kind of executive privilege and in fact the court recognizes that such a privilege can be asserted. But whether or not the privilege applies, the court says, is really based on a balancing test. So we balance whatever interest the executive branch might have in confidentiality against the interest in the due process of law and the administration of justice. So a pretty broad balancing test. Um, the, when the president invokes that privilege, the material is treated as privilege presumptively, and then the and then the court has to examine whether the material should be privileged or not. And in the uh, U.S. v. Nixon case, ultimately, the court said the tapes had to be released, and then that eventually leads to the president's impeachment. Um, we'll talk in class a bit about the, the pending case about uh, President Trump's tax records and other issues about the possibility of executive privilege 
in the State Department and other materials in the current impeachment inquiry.